It's often important to review data and edits in a digital brain. The brain makes it easy to perform these types of content reviews with history and reports. First, the brain automatically logs each change so that you can see who did what and when. To see what happened on the active thought, click to open its properties, then click the hourglass icon. From there, you can see who edited the thought, what type of modification took place, details on the modification, and when the action occurred. You can see the history of both thoughts and links from their properties pop-up. If you need a more general overview of recent changes, click the Recent Changes button. It's the clock icon that is located next to the search box. This will present you with a list of all changes that have happened in the last 30 days. The list shows changes made to both thoughts and links. Items with lines behind them represent link modifications. When you hover over any item, the details of what was done appear and you can click on any item to activate it. In addition to reviewing the history of changes, you can also run reports. The report area can be toggled on and off from the Brain's View menu or by clicking the Report button, also near the search box. The report starts out with an alphabetical list of all thoughts in this brain. Click any thought in the report to make it the current active thought. You can filter the list of thoughts in many different ways. Let's start with thought types and tags. Selecting a type shows all the thoughts of that type. Here are all the client thoughts. There are 33 clients in this brain. Let's narrow that down to only those clients that are tagged Gold Service. There are 10 clients that fit this criteria. Finally, let's remove those tagged International by clicking that tag twice. There are four Gold Service level clients that are not International. To clear all these filters, click Reset. Now let's filter the report by attachments. Again, there are many different ways, but say you are looking for internal files. Over 50 results. Okay, how about just .doc files? Refresh the report and it looks like it's down to 19. Finally, what about things that were modified only in the past month? Just what we're looking for. Reports can also be used to show a list of forgotten thoughts. And special cases, such as duplicate thoughts, which are two or more thoughts that share the same name, and orphan thoughts, which are thoughts that are not linked to anything else. With all these different report options, you may find that you need to run the same reports again and again. To make this easy, you can set up the report and then save it for later. Saved reports make switching between different presets fast and easy. So you can manage your digital brain as it continues to grow and evolve.